Hey guys, welcome to most likely the last update for the 7.4 inch e-paper price tag um, custom firmware. So far I was able to create it so you can upload new images to it via the Zigbee firmware and implemented it from the Dimitri's code base, which is also working on the 2.9 inch one. And normally you would yeah, have it re wake up every 10 or 15 minutes or so to ask for a new image via Zigbee and it will show it then of course, but um, they also got these NFC chips here and the NFC antenna which you can access then from the front. Uh, not all have these NFC chips, but the ones they have are quite interesting to play around with and I yeah did work on it in the past few days to finally implement an Android app to communicate with the 88MZ100 microcontroller and upload compressed images to it like you would do over Zigbee just now directly via a phone. So if we now select an image we can see that it is normally 30 kilobytes, but compressed it's about 2 kilobytes. And right now the display is sleeping. It would wake up in about 15 minutes. So if I now hold the smartphone on the display, it will first write a header and then will receive the data via NFC. And after that is done, we can remove the phone and the display should refresh to the new image. This takes around 27 seconds. It's now only showing black and white, of course, as I only uploaded a black and white image, but it could also show the red color. We now see that it is yeah, doing its refreshing, sleeping while doing it to save a bit more power. And after that refreshing is done, we will see that it is sleeping again, like so. And then the current consumption is down to about four microampere again. And we can now use it the exact same way again, or even upload a new image via Zigbee. So if I select a different image, for example, we can also do that. And it will then upload it as well. Put the phone away again and the refresh should occur. So this was quite troublesome I would say because this NFC chip is normally just an attack so you could read it all the time even if the battery is removed and normally you would have such NDEF records like a URL you hold your phone to it and it opens um, uh, the web browser or you have some Wi-Fi credentials um, on it but it has also this called pass-through mode it's an NXP NFC chip and this is quite hard to handle as the status is a bit back and forth and it's using the interrupt pin to communicate which status the pass-through RAM is but I was able to implement it now that it yeah works flawless and quite stable or so far there's nothing which uh, holds back from it. The reading does only work if the screen is currently sleeping so you can of course not update it while it's doing the refresh it will just not yeah communicate then and so that's just what I wanted to show for the end of the year I wish you all the best and happy hacking.